I'm in New York, day one. I just got done at the Met. Um, I had so much fun. I was in there for over two hours. Guys, I am at my hotel. And you have no idea how good that feels <laughs> to say. I was gone for exactly five hours with m very minimal breaks. Um, let me see how many steps I walked so far. So far I've walked 16,304, 47, uh, steps, I was about to say miles. I've walked seven miles today. That, to give you guys context, I usually walk, um, like 3,000 steps on a good day. Um, so this is, yeah, my body needs to rest. But again, mentally I'm ready to go. I could be out there, like, on the streets, but my body literally can't. And also my phone's dead, so I'm relaxing, charging my phone, enjoying my watermelon juice, and then... I'm thinking hot dog for lunch. I'm thinking all cart food today. That that sounds like a fun theme. Dinner, I might do ramen or something. But um, we're going to go back to Central Park in a couple of hours. So I know I stopped at Times Square last time. But the main reason I honestly stayed at this hotel is because it's really close to Grand Central Station. Which is a pretty famous um, train slash bus slash uh, subway station. And um, it's really close to my hotel. I'm really happy with the location I got now that I've walked around New York today. Um, I'm happy I didn't get a location directly in Times Square or Central Park because both of those locations were very busy. Um, but where I'm staying, it's still busy. There's a lot of stuff going on. It's not like unsafe, but it's much less busy, much more quiet. Um, I know I was reading online like a lot of cons people were saying of coming to New York is it's always loud in the hotels. but. I really like this location close to Grand Central Station. I'm about to get re-ready and go out. It's been a couple of hours. Okay, heading out. It's also close to four and I have only eaten uh, that donut or whatever this morning at like 9 a.m. So food is number one priority. Uh, this is my outfit. Mm, let me find a better way. Um, nothing special. I definitely dressed up more for the Met, but I'm going um, biking or whatever so i just wore sweats and a tank and these freaking shoes since i'm going biking i'm doing backpack this time um and i have water and everything now i'm figuring out where i am this is grand central station and stuff. Ooh, a bakery, okay. Look at her, look at this girl. She's getting it. Ooh, gang, 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 gang. Oh, me, sir. New York ran, and somehow, I don't know how, but I ended up in the right spot, 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 spot. <laughs> right. Okay, finally, 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 it's like five o'clock. I'm sitting in Central Park. I have a chili cheese dog and chicken kebab. Um, very quintessential moment eating a hot dog in Central Park. I'll let you guys know how much it is, how good it is. This is my view right now. Just a beautiful park with some music. Get the that pretty magnolia tree that we saw earlier. This is the chili dog. It does not look good, but it's not supposed to. It's a chili cheese dog. And this is chicken kebab Ooh, with barbecue. All right, here we go. First bite. It's good. I haven't eaten all day, so I'm good, but 
I thought it'd be better, I'm not gonna lie. It's very, um, I need salt. And I like ketchup on my chili cheese sauce. I should've asked for ketchup, that's my bad. Now let me try the chicken couple. It's still good though, um, and it's kind of undercooked. But I would give it a, like a seven. Actually, I give it a six. Sorry, but it's still really good. I'm really happy to be eating anything. Chicken cabal. Mmm. Ten out of ten. That tastes like my dad made it. Like, so authentic. Wow, that's good. Those trees are massive. Can't even tell. Hey, hey! Oh my god, that tree! I gotta go see it. Oh, sorry. I was just thinking about it. <laughs> wow. Oh my god, it's so pretty in here. <laughs> I tell. Found a bike and a sign that says sex, but I'm excited about the bike. It took a long time to get here, but everything worked out beautiful. And this bike ride is my favorite thing I've done so far. So let's continue. Oh my God, oh my God. This is so not something I should be doing because I literally, I'm gonna fall and hurt myself. I'm gonna fall and hurt somebody else. Oh shit, oh shit. Okay, yeah, bad idea. Bad idea, but this is my view. <laughs> it's just amazing. I'm riding a city bike, so I don't have to pedal it as much. I really should stop doing this one handed. Okay. I had to pause my bike ride because look at this view. It's backlit, so you can't even see it. Damn, I'm gonna turn my other camera. It's still backlit, but it's cool. So I just finished my bike ride. It was incredible. It was about 30 minutes. Highly recommend uh, bike riding in Central Park. Um, the views were like insane and I highly recommend City Bike because my 30 minute bike ride was only five bucks, which is really good. Okay. I had to stop though because I realized I'm really like tired and I don't have that much water. And since I'm alone, like if I pass out or something, which happens sometimes, if I pass out or something, that would be bad. Um, so I was like, I'm not gonna over exude myself, even though I kind of already have. But um, now, since it's not dark yet, I'll probably go back to the hotel and eat dinner, and then at like nine, I'll go to Times Square. Also, I started this um, bike ride on uh, East Central Park. I'm closer to East Central Park, my hotel is, and I'm ending it West Central Park, and it looks way different than East Central Park. It's way, it's kind of more upscale in a way. Let me show you. I don't know if there's a difference between East and West Central Park. I'm sure there is, and I'm sure people know. But the West Side looks snazzy. It looks more like classic New York than touristy. Okay, so I grabbed ramen for dinner. Um, I just picked a random spot that's right across from my hotel just because it's right across from my hotel and I've been craving ramen. Um, I know what you're thinking. Raha, you are in New York and <laughs> you haven't eaten any New York food. Not a bagel or pizza in sight, but I promise you tomorrow I'm gonna find a bagel. So the reason I chose New York as my destination for my solo trip, first of all, there's this light here very helpful I need that it like in my house anyway um okay it's not that helpful so <laughs> the reason I chose New York is number one walkability and I wanted somewhere that I could just walk everywhere I don't want to drive or whatever and obviously there's a subway number two I've just always wanted to see New York why not um 
Number three is food. Today I've been slacking on number three. Today's been a very quintessential New York day. I've done all the New York-y things I want to do. I'm still about to go to Times Square, so that's like the last thing, but um, everybody has their things they want to do in different cities. For me in New York, it was Central Park, uh, the Met, the Metropolitan Museum of Art, and um, Times Square. These are the three things that I really want to see. I might go see um, the Statue of Liberty and the Brooklyn Bridge Monday morning or tomorrow if I feel like it. And I've been seeing all the different um, iconic buildings and stuff too while walking. So the point of that rant is today I haven't really been eating that amazing, but um, hopefully from here on out every day, um, food is gonna be the most important thing to find beautiful, amazing food. And I mean, today was good too, because I wanted to try um, obviously a hot dog in New York and um, coffee. I really, that's all I ate today. Oh, chicken kebab, whatever. I'm about to eat ramen though. That's the reason that you are um, set up, as I'm about to have my ramen and I want to, I want to try it with you because that I've been having my first bites on camera so let's just keep that let's keep that theme also I find it so easy to vlog here oh god I hate these eggs I'm gonna take this egg out um I've heard other people say it too but like New York is very easy to vlog in I also I think it's just so cute how many immigrants are here because I know from personal experience um of friends that I have in Iran, ooh, this looks so good, that New York is something that, you know, immigrants just really want to see, and I mean, understandably, because it's, uh, uh, it really represents, I think, the United States for other countries, but, yeah, nowhere else in the United States is like New York, just saying. Um, okay, so this is what my food looks like. Looks good. It needs a second, but it looks good. Uh, I'm Hopefully I'm, I'll find some ice cream in Times Square because I kinda want some ice cream. One thing at a time, Raha. Let's eat this first. I feel like today was just me saying hello to the city <laughs> and um, again, just seeing the things that I wanna see and from here on out, I can be kind of slower pace and I don't really have a plan for the next um, few days. Monday and Tuesday I have to work, but tomorrow, my plan is literally I'm gonna get up and um, go to Grand Central Station hopefully when it's not very busy and have a photo shoot and then um, I'm gonna take a subway literally just a random subway to somewhere and get off and walk um, maybe I'll go to Chinatown maybe I'll go to um, the Statue of Liberty okay sorry first bite here we go Mmm, exactly what I wanted, wow. I've never been a fan of like ramen. Like I like packaged, packaged 25 cent ramen, but like actual ramen, I've, I've never been a fan of like going and buying it. Um, but for some reason I've just been craving it and this is the best ramen I've ever had easily. Um, so yeah, thank you New York for your ramen. Mmm, no regrets at all. So good. I give it a like a nine out of ten. Solid. Um. Anyway, I'm gonna go watch a show and eat. And um. Oh, that's actually way better. I should have done that. Great. All right. Bye. Okay. Final outfit for the day. I changed my pants because I realized my shoes were the thing that were killing me, honestly. Like, I could have kept walking if I was in different shoes. So I'm wearing these now, and different pants, and this is the outfit. Today wasn't a really fashionable day either. Hopefully tomorrow I'll be cuter. Um, let's go to Times Square, and then come back and pass out everybody. One thing I can say is I feel very comfortable with this city. Like, I've been here for literally one day, and um well i'm in a good area but i'm i'm able to get around by myself now 
like without even my phone sometimes, which is really cool. But again, like I'm just going to basic places and I've been here for a day, so I can't really say that. I also feel um, very safe here. There's definitely weirdos and eclectic people and a lot of homelessness and drug addicts, um, which is sad, but um, I, 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 uh, I've seen scarier places for sure. Also, I appreciate the masks, honestly, because um, first of all, it's cold, kind of, and it keeps me warm. And second of all, it is a smelly city. <laughs> it doesn't smell good. Every time I do take my mask off, unless I'm in like, when I was in the park, obviously it smelled fine, but like, um, it's not, it doesn't smell great. So the mask is nice, because it really blocks that. I do have a taser with me, by the way. I'm gonna see it. I'm not gonna show it, because people are gonna think I'm about to taste that. go to the Statue of Liberty, but it looks like I'm actually here. Yay, America. Uh, oh my God, it's this part of Times Square. <laughs> Holy shit, I can't believe I'm here.
is it closed? big reason um, I had such a hard time walking was because my shoes were just so uncomfortable and I have another pair of shoes I showed you guys and they're way more comfortable so I'm just gonna wear these I feel fine right now um, but I am excited to go pass out I still want ice cream so hopefully I can find some before sleeping but I did enjoy um, Times Square I wanted to go to the M&M store really bad but it was closed it closes at nine apparently and i got there a tad late i might go another night if i'm bored but we'll see drink kwaja booze oh what's the name how do you know your way to gps yes it's a very straight it's straight just 10 minutes this way day one in nyc officially over almost over i did order some ice cream <laughs> to come to the hotel um so that's gonna be the last thing i do for the day i'm about to go take a shower god i've been waiting for the shower all day long it's been such a long day i woke up at 7 30 and um i mean you watched my whole day so i'm not gonna recap it but it's been a long one it's been a really wonderful one though i had such a magical like beautiful day I can't even believe it. So much happened. Very excited for this ice cream I'm about to eat and this shower I'm about to take. So thank you guys for coming along on this ride of day one. I think this is probably the most interesting vlog and New York vlog you guys are going to get, but I'm excited about the days to come. Um, I really have no idea what I'm doing tomorrow. I just know I'm eating. Um, so get excited for that. We all love food. I'm like so tired. Um, so much simulation though. I had such a good day. I just like, I'm really happy. And um, I think I look cute right now. So I just am enjoying this shot. I don't, I'm not, I look like thin. <laughs> I look like thin and tall. And um, I'm not, I'm short and stubby. So I'm enjoying this, this, um, that's cute. Okay, I'm gonna go. Thanks for watching this video. Please like it, even if you didn't like it, like it, who cares, you know, just like it. If you don't like my video, karma's gonna get you. And so, so just remember that. Peace out, I'm gonna go take a shower and eat ice cream. You guys, I'm all kinds of vibing. I'm watching Sex in the City. I've never watched the show or movie. I'm watching the movie right now, and I'm in the city. <laughs> it's really cute. It's cute seeing um, New York through a movie lens when I just saw it in my life. Anyway, the point of this is to try my ice cream. I took, I would say, the best shower of my life. It felt so amazing, that shower did. Um, I ordered ice cream, like I told you guys. I ordered... It, 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 it defaulted as a mini, and I was like, mini, I'm gonna get a small, but the small is literally so big, it's a huge, this is not a small, this is so, this is so much ice cream, I wish I did get the mini, but 
I got Nutella soft serve and I got peanut butter cups on top. <laughs> you guys, I'm like so dead. Oh shit. All right, let's try this. Yeah, say don't eat chocolate ice cream in a white bed. That's really stupid. So don't be me, basically. But anyway. Wow. Holy. Oh my. Wow. So good. Like, I really wish I got the mini because this is so much ice cream. But it's so good and I don't want to throw it away. But I don't want to eat it all. Not just. Not because of like weight. But because of like this is so much ice cream. Like I don't know. I don't think that's good for my tummy. But it's so good. Anyway. I'm going to enjoy this. I'm going to go to sleep. And I'll see you in the morning. I definitely finished it. And I give it. A solid 9 out of 10.